Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 7th, 8th, and 9th episode of Uchu Senkan Tiramisu. And last episode, the show became Uchu Kyodai because our protagonist apparently has a long lost brother who is now basically the, the antagonist. He attacked us. He turned out to be Cody. He betrayed us and attacked us. It was, it was quite horrible and sad. And he's basically beckoning him to come to the dark side with him, which I hope he doesn't do. Hopefully Subaru, our protagonist, can hold strong and not not fall for such things. So let's see if that's the case or just how things go. So three, two, one, play. And that's him. Finally, we know who that is. I trusted you, Cody. I don't know how you can betray us like this. I can't have faith in anything anymore. My side has cookies. Well, he has his cockpit, at least. Well, I am kind of friends with some of the people here. Kedu, 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 okay. What? I... He's definitely Subaru's brother. If there's any doubt about that. I mean, if you can't get into your mech, that's a pretty big deal. That's a pretty big problem. Maybe you left it in your eye patch somewhere? Like a car. Like, yeah, that... That's a car unlocker. Beep, beep. Who would have possibly have stole it? For what purpose? I think it's more likely you just lost it. Not definitely not the direction I expected this to go in. Not sure what to make of it. And we found it. And this isn't, isn't that where it always is. <laughs> it's always been a talent of his. Well, back to back to the topic of So we did go with him then. It's going to abandon our our side. It does look kind of cool. So they do, <laughs> they, they do have cookies. Oh wait, no, no they don't. It's a lie. Uh, I didn't find anything, what? Why? Is it an actual problem or is it a key loss problem? Okay, I, d I did notice that. I wasn't sure if he just put it away or something. But of course he lost it too. A fourth one? Good god, man. Uh... Define normal. Update the cockpit, huh? <laughs> huh, I guess that's pretty cool. <laughs> it's pretty high tech stuff. I 
I mean, you're speaking his language now. And there's a liquid. I would rather not fill my lungs with liquid if it's all the same to you. Yeah, no, 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 no. That's just terrifying. <laughs> An hour, wow. I... I'm easy for you to say, you're not the one gulping it down. Hey. Oh, clothes have been removed. Do I have to? Rash just army. Got our own little telepathy. Yeah, I wouldn't want to either. Yeah, we can't waste bathwater in Japan. That's a big no-no. Oh, God, that is disgusting. Oh, God, no. I would definitely not swallow that now. Just please, no. And let's see you swallow this disgusting liquid. With pulp in it. Why did I see a blush? Okay, I kind of figured that. It was sort of implying that with the way he was speaking about people who had. Can you please put clothes back on, man? Uh, what direction is this going in? What kind of group did we join? <laughs> well, we've kind of joined the dark side here. Yeah, no telling where, th where things are going to go from here. Okay, well, that was the seventh episode of Sen Uchu Senkan Tiramisu, and he's kind of abandoned the, the Tiramisu. That is the name of the ship, right? I, I hope I'm right on that. Yeah, so I guess if we just kind of kill everyone on the ship, not much point in staying there, just, just time to go. I mean, I don't think they actually died, but... They were at least knocked out, so. And yeah, I mean, the only thing you really had Subaru to do this episode was get in the tank and drink the liquid so he could harness the universe sense and pilot the mech from this, this pod here, which is a pretty cool idea. He even got some telepathy going on, but still, the body's, the body's gonna really reject that, that idea of just voluntarily filling your lungs with liquid. Like, that's kind of how you die in real life with regular water so yeah and once the one the one fat guy got in there in his underwear at that point it was like this went from a probably not to a definitely not pretty pretty quickly and apparently the brother is not awakened to the universe since so you know that's that's a thing so yeah i would not i would not do it would not fill my lungs with that liquid i just wouldn't do it so is this going to be like a permanent thing, or are we going to go back to the other ship somehow eventually? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I guess we're at least giving this side a try for now. Like a bit of a trial period, if you will. So, yeah, not much more to say other than that. Let's just load up the, the next episode and see where we go with that. Let's see, episode 8 would be next, right? I believe so. So just gotta move that. And I think we're about ready to watch more Suhuchu Kyodai. So three, two, one, play. And I just changed this one. There we go. Now we're ready.
It is nice, though, that he got to meet up with his brother. <laughs> Even if he just loses everything. But what about our old crew? We can't just get, say goodbye to them forever. <laughs> Habit, habit, t t this place. Right. <laughs> Ow. I see. Yeah, also just look at the road in general. Ace pilot just crashed. <coughs> wow. Yeah, that could have been done better. Well. <laughs> yeah, I did see that. That's a scratch. It's pretty bad. That's just terrible. Anybody bring some paint? <laughs> Don't. Nobody wants you to rub spit on their mech. Yeah, especially if it happened in the cockpit. What? Here's... here's there's a nickel. To do what exactly? Self destruct sequence initiated. <clears throat> He's gonna break it worse, isn't he? Uh oh. <clears throat> yeah, that is a little bit. Yeah. Gonna really damage the mech at this rate. I imagine mech insurance would be pretty expensive. High chance of damage and all that, you know? Uh, well, time to escape. <laughs> at least he figured that out. I mean, where's it really gonna go? Hey, wait, what? Wait, what? They're cloning him? Well, damn, that's... that's a development. I guess it'll just make their own Subaru with blackjack and hookers. Apparently he got away pretty easily. I don't know, like, what happened with the... with our old home? Is that still a thing? I mean, she kind of had it coming. So yeah, there's, they are still in existence, that seems. So yeah, we should obviously go back to them. They say hi. See if they'll take us back. Hi. Oh. <laughs> oh no, he's already been replaced. The robot, no less. That's gotta hurt. Is it a female robot? <laughs> Check the database. Uh, at least it didn't walk in on you changing. <laughs> Hello, I have missed you. The other crew definitely did not have one of you. We, we met. Oh, God. <laughs> you, you lost more. Yeah, you lost more than your glasses there. Uh, that was that was a good gag, though. And man, the way she fills that out. 
And you've been replaced by a cute robot girl, Subaru. I don't know if there's a place for you here anymore. Hey, Sue. Oh, what the heck? Is she that kind of character? Puts on a facade for the... Okay. <laughs> uh, I was convinced. I didn't think a robot would lie like that. I... I was kind of indifferent to it myself. Why even reveal it to him then? Well, I guess if they're going to be roommates, she had to, but... Just leaking the smoke. What exactly happened? Could have been worse, it could have caused you know, an arm and a leg. You found her arm. Yeah, I knew we were going with this direction with it. Saw that coming a mile away. <sighs> I knew she'd be trouble. I was hoping I was wrong, but no, she definitely was setting him up the whole time. Okay. Okay. That was the eighth episode of Uchu Senkan Tiramisu. And yeah, the first half was just we damaged Onichan's mech. He wasn't too happy about that. We spit on it. He definitely wasn't happy about that. We got into it, and the other people were unhappy about that. And that was about the time we decided it was it was time to leave. Which makes sense, because like I said, this isn't where we belong. This is this is the, the bad guys. The, don't, don't fall. Don't fall. This is the bad guys' side, you know? We never meant to be here. However, the problem is they apparently just cloned him. Which makes sense. Of course, they would have some of his DNA lying around after all the stuff they did. Definitely have the fat guy's DNA, that's for sure. But anyway, we got away from them for now. We'll deal with the, the evil clone thing later. For now, we went back home. And we found that we kind of have been replaced by a robot. To hashtag relatable. And a female robot, it seems like. So, <laughs> it definitely was having a bit of a cutesy personality. Like, robot-style cutesy personality, like doing the various tropes, like, Megane, Megane, but it was the whole head, and that was, that was pretty funny. So. And yeah, she seemed to be pretty liked by the crew, but as she revealed pretty quickly after they left, that's just a big old facade. She only pretends to be all cutesy, you know, because it's just to manipulate them, you know. <clears throat> And like the second they leave, she just whips out the cigar. <laughs> uh, I definitely did not expect that shift in her personality. That was a pretty big surprise. It kind of reminds me of a scene from Joshiraku a little bit. So. And I kind of figured nothing good would come from this. And pretty much the second she ran into them, saying her arm was gone, I had a feeling where this was going, and it just kind of progressively got more and more strong as the scene progressed. But once, uh, well, once what's her face found the arm, for a second I was like, you know what, maybe I was wrong. It seems like she just found it, maybe lying around somewhere. Maybe it's not, maybe this isn't going the direction I thought it would. But then once they mentioned it was in Subaru's room, that it, it confirmed it. That's indeed what the plan was, just trying to frame him. To make him look bad so they can just get rid of him and no longer have to compete with him. Because, you know, she took his position and then he comes back. That's a little bit awkward. But now she'll have the remote to herself, I think, is the, the main point of the plan there. So now we'll see how things go. Will they have faith in Subaru or will they not? I guess we'll find out in episode 9. So let's let's load that up. And 9 is, the, of course, the final episode for this batch. So hopefully it's a good stopping point. 
pretty much what I always hope for. So, with everything all set up, let's just get it started. Three, two, one, play. And there we go. We're home sweet home, but so far it hasn't been too sweet. A robot arm was forcibly shoved into his cockpit, and he's going to get in trouble for it. Return of the Ace Pilot and a friend of mine. <coughs> <clears throat> I got a hair in my mouth, but you're a bad bot. You should never shove your arm in someone's cockpit. <clears throat> yeah, he doesn't seem to believe him. Ugh, now that is she. Jealous of a machine. Hopefully you get what's coming to you. I don't know how we prove his innocence, though. That's not gonna help anything, Subaru. But if we destroy the robot... Oh, we're gonna look at her memory? That might... Okay. Okay, apparently she just has a personality set in. Why? Let's just slide it over to good. Maybe Bender has a thing like that. <laughs> man, if only you could correct somebody's personality with a switch, then man, wouldn't that be the best? Uh. Oh god. <laughs> Gotta get the zipper up one way or the other. At least get it to middle. Bike mode? What does that do? Oh, I guess. I guess it literally was bike mode. Okay, now we can ride her. So we can escape and have more time to, to, to flip her switch. Make her into a better person. Better bot. Okay, it's bad enough you're riding her. You don't have to pound her from behind, too. That's a compliment. Oh, the instruction manual? Wow. <laughs> this, is, this is just a terrible idea to have her in general, isn't it? Okay, this is how I figure it out. So it's similar to what I thought, just instead of her memory, it was just a camera. And there we go, and I guess it's just resolved then. Back to the good setting. Okay, now we can move on to the next thing. Back to battling. It's so weird to see combat in this show, because it's so not the focus. There we go. Blew them all up at once. That's how a real ace pilot does it. Yeah, she's much better like this. She's just the head in his cockpit. There's a joke there somewhere. Like in the perfect position too. Uh, no, just stop that. Zombies? Shush. What are we watching? European Chinese broadsword. Ah, oh, god damn it! Don't don't say that. I thought we had your switch set to good. Why would you do that? I. Uh. Oh, return to the hair. 
My friend. That's what I meant by friend from the title. Our long lost friend. <laughs> right. Definitely sounds like the narrator from No Kome. Oh, is that an actual female pubic hair? That one's pink. But can a guy have a female pubic hair? The deep, the deep questions. <laughs> you lost to a pubic hair. The pubic hair doesn't spoil my favorite shows for me, so. Hello, Konnichiwa. Could it be Isuzu Onicha? An ad. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> wow, how old is this thing? Uh, yes, I, I used to play old school consoles. I know how it works. Yellow was the video. Come on, pubic ears, pull harder. That's not a sense I ever thought I would say. Oh no! No! Oh no. No, my friend. Uh, the real spoiler was that he died this episode. Uh, the first serious death in the whole show. And no, it's the clone too. Just in the process of mourning the death of our friend and we already had to deal with this. We never get a break in the cold war of space. Truly the most tragic episode so far. Well, okay, that was the ninth and final episode for this batch. And yeah, we had the robot situation dealt with. So, I mean, the solution to this was pretty obvious. He just had to show video proof of her doing it, and that would solve the problem. However, it wouldn't solve the problem of her being aggressive. That was solved by adjusting the switch, which she luckily has. I don't know why you would give a robot a bad personality even as an option. Like, unless I guess if you're into that sort of thing, maybe. So... Yeah, it was a bit of a rough scene for Subaru getting slapped and all that, even though we did nothing wrong. But then he got to adjust her to, to motorcycle settings, which is a good feature, by the way. He just zoomed in, uh, zoomed off on that. So. Yeah, I actually missed the part where he mentioned the return slip. But, I mean, through context, I figured out pretty quickly what he was trying to do. You know, as soon as they mentioned the used goods thing. So yeah, no, 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 no retraining her. So you have to just make do, make do with what we've got. And but yeah, aside from that, everything was resolved, and now I guess she's the new, the new member. Do was cockpit, like the I think they were still the replacement for for Cody. Not that anyone could truly replace Cody, but she's doing her best. But yeah, so far I doesn't seem to be getting along super well with her. Like spoiling shows and stuff, it's not, it's not great. So, so what show was it supposed to be? I just, Walking Dead's the only thing I can assume. But I don't see enough evidence to know the specific thing it's parodying here. Well, to mention Dave. Dave, Dave, I don't know, it's not really ringing a bell. Rick was the main character of The Walking Dead. You know, for a while. Chinese broadsword. I mean, Walking Dead had like a Japanese katana with uh, Michonne, but I don't know. Dave dies in season two. Why would you say that? Why would you say that? Maybe he's supposed to be Shane. Maybe that's who Dave's supposed to be. I don't know. But the point is, spoilers are never appreciated. Well, I know there's some weird people out there that like them, but it's not, not me. But anyway, the most important thing is we reunited with our best friend, the pubic hair, who apparently found a wife. I, I have several questions about that. Like, can a man have a female pubic hair? These are the kind of deep questions that this show is kind of bringing up, and I appreciate that. But he seemed quite happy. 
Unfortunately, happiness can never last too long. And because of the mistakes that Pock, 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 Pocker, whatever you call her, made, our friend had to sacrifice himself. And uh, I don't know why we had the, the yellow cable instead of the HDMI cord. Like, this is 2020, right? Well, maybe not in this show. But, like, that's such old school stuff. Like, I want to say... What was what was the last game console that had that sort of setup? Maybe it was GameCube? I'm not sure. I know that Nintendo 64 had that, but... Anyway, it's old school, tech, old school console stuff before HDMI became a thing. And he just split himself, just trying to take out the cord. Unfortunately, pubic hairs are fairly fragile, so that is kind of the risk when they exert themselves like that. And to make matters worse, we have the clone to fight now, so... Yeah, things are just not going too well for Subaru. Just, it's just a really tragic episode. Really. And the popcorn's a mess, like, completely, so... Yeah, hopefully we can recover from this. Just, so hopefully. Hopefully. Thank you for watching, and a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment, because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.